From oil wealth to kidnapping and tragedy, discover the incredible and poignant story of the Getty family. With their vast fortune, it seemed they had it all, but behind the glamour was a tale of unbelievable penny-pinching, affairs, and acrimonious divorces. Follow their captivating journey and uncover the truth about a family with all the money in the world. The incredible story of Jay, Paul Getty, begins with his privileged upbringing as the only child of affluent lawyer George Getty and his wife Sarah. Born in Minneapolis in 1892, Jay Paul was raised in the lap of luxury thanks to his father's thriving law practice in the booming Midwestern city. But what happened next is even more remarkable. Jay Paul used his upbringing to build an empire and establish a legacy as one of the wealthiest and most powerful figures of the 20th century. A true success story, J. Paul Getty's journey is an inspiring reminder of how ambition and hard work can lead to a lasting legacy. George Getty had the insight to recognize the potential of the oil industry and acted on it. In 1903, he moved to Oklahoma and founded Minnehoma Oil Company, and within two years, he had earned enough money to move his family to a luxurious mansion. His great foresight and ambition enabled him to become one of the most successful oil magnates in history and to provide his family with a life of wealth and privilege. George Getty's story is a testament to the power of vision and entrepreneurship. J. Paul Getty was a gifted high school student who achieved remarkable success. He went on to study at some of California's best colleges and even had a prestigious stint at Oxford University in the UK. After graduating in 1914, Getty had a strong background in economics and petroleum geology, as well as fluency in multiple foreign languages. His hard work and determination resulted in an incredible career that would make him one of the world's wealthiest individuals. This is the inspiring story of J. Paul Getty. Once just a farm boy, J. Paul Getty rose to become one of the world's wealthiest men. In September 1914, his father George Getty, who had already achieved immense success, loaned his son the money to buy oil leases in Oklahoma's Redbed area. Driven by ambition, J. Paul sold the leases at a massive profit, laying the foundations for his incredible success. With his goal of amassing his own fortune achieved, J. Paul Getty went on to make history. At just 23 years old, J. Paul Getty had already achieved something remarkable. After amassing a fortune of over $1 million, equivalent to $22.6 million today, he moved to Los Angeles to live the life of a playboy Lothario, much to his father's dismay. But he wasn't done yet. By the end of the 1920s, the oil tycoon had increased his wealth to a staggering $3 million. From zero to millionaire in just a few short years, it was an incredible journey of business savvy, ambition, and luck. J. Paul Getty, the oil magnate renowned for his workaholic lifestyle, was an unconventional family man. In 1923, he married 18-year-old Jeanette Dumont and their son George was born the following year. But the marriage was short-lived and, between 1926 and 1928, J. Paul wed Aline Ashby and Adolphine Helmel, with whom he had a son Jean in 1929. His numerous divorces have been attributed to his preference for business over family, often putting in 18-hour days and working even on weekends and vacations. Getty's love life was far from ordinary, and his marriages could not compete with his passion for work. When George Getty passed away in 1930, his son J. Paul was faced with a difficult inheritance. Despite being proud of his son's business acumen, George was appalled by J. Paul's playboy lifestyle and multiple failed marriages, a shocking development for the 1920s. In an effort to protect the family company from his son's scandalous behavior, George left J. Paul with just $500,000 of his $10 million estate, while the majority went to his mother. It was a striking reminder that George did not trust J. Paul to continue his legacy. At the start of the Great Depression, J. Paul Getty was already set to become a tycoon. He took a risk that went against the advice of experts and invested in oil stocks for a fraction of their original cost. His gamble paid off, leading him to the acquisition of the Pacific Western Oil Corporation and eventually the Mission Corporation, parent of Skelly Oil and Tidewater Oil, which went on to form Getty Oil. 
Thanks to Jay Paul's Midas touch, he was able to make a fortune even in the midst of economic hardship. J. Paul Getty and Adolphine called it quits in 1932, but Love still had a chance for the oil baron. He found a new love that same year in the form of silent movie actress and Rourke, and the two formed a beautiful union. Together, they had two children, John Paul Jr., the father of future kidnap victim John Paul Getty III, and Gordon Peter. Unfortunately, the couple parted ways in 1936, yet, their love still remains a shining example of what can be achieved when two hearts meet. The world-renowned oil tycoon J. Paul Getty was no stranger to tragedy. In 1939, he married nightclub singer Louise Dudley, Teddy Lynch, and the two were blessed with a son, Timothy. Unfortunately, the joy of parenthood was short-lived, as Timothy succumbed to a brain tumor at just 12 years old. Louise later recounted how J. Paul had scolded her for spending too much money on the boy's cancer treatment, an event that marked the beginning of a series of unfortunate events for the Getty family. J. Paul Getty's heroic contributions to the Allied war effort during World War II will never be forgotten. His selfless dedication to the cause saw him take charge of the production of aircraft parts via his Spartan Aircraft Company and even put himself forward for naval service. This courageous act of patriotism inspired many others to follow in his footsteps and join the fight against the Axis powers. Through his tremendous efforts, J. Paul Getty helped pave the way for a victorious end to the war. J. Paul Getty's fear of flying and traveling, in general, led him to settle in Europe after World War II. Positioned between the oil fields of the United States and the Middle East, he spent his late 1940s and 1950s living out of hotel rooms, such as the George V in Paris and the Ritz in London. His nomadic lifestyle allowed the billionaire to keep up with his business dealings, while also enjoying the best of European culture. With a life of luxury, J. Paul Getty showed us that no matter how far you go, home is always where the heart is. In 1949, J. Paul Getty struck gold with an incredible investment that would pay off in spades. He negotiated a bargain price with King Saud of $9.5 million, around $100 million in today's money, for a 60-year lease on a barren tract of land between Saudi Arabia and Kuwait. To sweeten the deal, he agreed to pay an additional $1 million a year for the duration of the lease. Little did he know that the investment would become an incredibly lucrative one. In 1953, J. Paul Getty's deal paid off in a big way. His Middle East interests unearthed huge reserves of oil, and soon the magnates' companies were pumping out 16 million barrels a year. That same year, he finally took control of the Mission Corporation and its subsidiaries, such as Skelly Oil and Tidewater Oil. Not content with his success, Getty also convinced his mother to let him run the family's oil business. With his Midas touch, Getty was able to turn anything he touched into gold. When J. Paul Getty's son tragically passed away in 1958, the tycoon was living in England, far away from his fifth wife, Teddy. In her exasperation, Teddy filed for divorce and J. Paul Getty never remarried again. Despite this, he was never without female companionship, being seen with Hollywood stars such as Zsa Zsa Gabor. His life thereafter was marked by loneliness and a lack of true companionship. Although he was surrounded by people, J. Paul Getty was never able to fully recover from the devastating loss of his son.